Hi Taurus, welcome to your September tarot forecast with me. This is Brooke. Welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thanks for joining me. This is your September tarot forecast. Please make sure to watch for Sun Moon Rising in this video. I apologize for the delay in getting out your video, but we're here. And I've pre-shuffled for the reading, Taurus, so we're going to lay out the cards together and see what's in store for you for the month of September. I hope August was good to you. We come in with two pages. Interesting. So we start off with first the Page of Pentacles. This is your theme or outlook for the month. Could very much be centered around money. Messages with money, job opportunities, receiving opportunities uh, through word of mouth I'm picking up. There also could be perhaps interference that you may feel that other people uh, may be trying to compete with you in something, but there's some form of messaging coming in surrounding money, job opportunities, job interviews. This also could be short sums of money as well that you could be receiving in the month of September. So very much centered around this. The next page we have is the Page of Wands coupled with the Ace of Wands. So the Page of Wands is news. It's messaging. It's receiving good news, especially with anything that you are beginning. So the Ace of Wands is going into a new direction. This also could be a creative direction, and it very much signifies something that you, that you may feel... Taurus, where you feel re-energized or inspired about. So this is very indicative of new life as well. So this is also for the ones that perhaps are seeking out job opportunities, seeking out career opportunities, wanting to perhaps start your own business. Okay, this also could be news coming in terms of financial freedom, financial opportunities as well coming in. Out of the most recent past... We have the Four of Swords next to the Queen of Swords. So the Four of Swords is basically putting a hold on something, putting a pause or a stop to something or not being active. This could indicate Taurus yourselves. Perhaps you went into a place where you kind of were retreating, okay? This also could have been for you slowing down a bit as well. This also could be for the ones that are seeking employment or things to do with finance and money something was put on the back burner as well the queen of swords comes in to indicate the seriousness of this and how perhaps your communication was not as effective as it should have been because she is the great communicator she doesn't like to mince words this also could be an air sign as well an actual person for Taurus, or this could be personalities or characteristics of yourselves coming out of the most recent past when it comes to this situation. The Queen of Swords is very much about communicating in a fashion where she's very serious or comes across as perhaps being very serious-minded. She doesn't show much emotion. She's very much about fairness, but she's not the one that's going to you know, <laughs> get real emotional about a situation. You may have applied that in some area of your life, Taurus, as well. So let's see what else we have. We come in with the King of Wands next to the Hierophant. There could have been someone, or can be this month, a fire sign. And the King of Wands next to the Hierophant is someone who is very much trying to follow protocol. He's very much trying to follow tradition, rules, policies, regulations, higher wisdom. The King of Wands is very much about being magnetic. Mag not magnetic. <laughs> magnetic. Being magnetic. <laughs> He's also one that really commands a presence or has a presence about him. Taurus yourselves, you may have felt that perhaps in certain situations, you may have been a bit too passionate. You may have been a bit uh, too magnetic for people. Your personality may have come across a different way. It's, you're trying to follow tradition. You're trying to follow 
rules, protocols, policies in a situation. You may have gained wisdom from that, especially on a professional level. This also could indicate for some, with the King of Wands energy, he can also come across in relationships, Taurus, as being kind of the party animal, being kind of the party guy. Okay, v very charismatic, very attractive. Okay, people sometimes won't take him seriously because of that. He can also be a player as well in terms of love and romance. This person next to the Hierophant may very much be a married person. He may also be someone who is wanting to get married as well. Okay, so this can be very different for the ones that are watching because it is a general reading. But he's attached to the, to the here font, so that's about tradition. There's something that he's wanting to do, perhaps it's very traditional. We come in next with the Six of Cups, next to the Four of Cups. So anything from the past this month, and I don't like to harp too much about return of exes, but anything from the past this month, Taurus, that you may be going back to, you may be revisiting next to the Four of Cups. It's There's something from the past. This person may even perhaps come back for some, wanting to revisit, wanting to re-entertain or visit old ideas. You may not be up to this with the Four of Cups. This is a card of discontentment, okay, boredom. Uh, you know, you bore me now. You don't give me the excitement that you once did. It's a little old. It's kind of gotten a little old. So you're not really very much in tune with this, with this idea. This also could be someone who is an old friend, an old business colleague, okay, even a family member who wants to perhaps go into business with you that you're just not really sure about. There's not, you just don't see the inspiration. You don't see the opportunity there. Something's holding Taurus back from doing that. Here we come in with the Nine of Wands. Next to Judgment. So the Nine of Wands is very much about standing your ground with something. Also kind of creating this wall or barrier uh, mentally with people. You're very defensive about something this month as well, Taurus. You're also perhaps not wanting other people to crowd you or to crowd your ideas or to give their opinions about what or how or what job you should go after or what career you should have or what you should do with your money or, or there's some sort of defensiveness tied into this with Taurus this month. And coupled with judgment tells me there's some sort of release or awakening period or rebirth period that Taurus, you may be fighting, that you may not be wanting to see or take a look at the actual reality of this. So judgment's very much in tune with deliverance, okay? It's very much in tune with awakening, rebirth, a phase that's trying to culminate or end and is trying to move you forward. You may be rebutting this. You may not be wanting to take that next step. You may be, and this could be also another person. This could be this King of Wands as well. Maybe they don't want to take the next step to further the relationship in terms of commitment, in terms of marriage. Okay? That could be for some as well. Coming in the month of September. Somebody is decisive. We have the Two of Swords. There's a stalemate energy to this. There's indecisiveness. Someone's clearly not seeing the situation for what it truly is. And then we have another court card attached to this. The King of Swords energy. So you do have actually five court cards with the two pages, the Queen, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. His energy is very much about diplomacy, strategy, trying to communicate. Someone may be trying to desperately communicate to you, Taurus, about the actualities of a situation. That, you know, news came to you. There may be an opportunity for you to start over. There may be an opportunity for you to have a fresh start. And it may also have something to do 
with money, job, finance. Taurus, you seem to be a bit against this for whatever reason of either progressing, accepting the offer. There's a challenge for you. There's a blockage of some kind, which could be an emotional blockage. It also could be a mental blockage, depending upon how you see it. The King of Swords, however, is very commanding. This also could be attached to law enforcement as well. He's very much about strategy, diplomacy, okay, great communication in terms of communication and making sure that you understand, you know, your responsibilities, you understand your rights, etc. So somebody may come in or step in to either assist Taurus to dispel this confusion or indecision about something as well. So good luck to you, Taurus. Keep me posted. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my website below if you'd like to book a private reading. Have a great month, and I'll speak to you soon.